Once you've set up your book series in the bookshelf, you can use the analytics page to better understand metrics like sell-through, read-through, and ROI. Sell-through and read-through views reflect the number of people who bought or read book one and then went on to buy or read subsequent books in the series. Page filters enable you to select the parameters for each report, including the ability to view the data by royalty or units. ScribeCount displays key metrics, total units, net profit, total income, and total expense, and you can assess the data at a glance in graphic representations, including the sell-through trend graphic, with sell-through for each title in purple and cumulative sell-through in green. Hover over the data points for more information. In the table format, you can select the columns to display and export the data in a CSV file. The table also highlights performance for sell-through and cumulative sell-through based on target percentages drawn from industry standards listed at the bottom. Pie chart depictions of the results provide another way to assess performance of books within the series. And finally, bar charts display performance by book and by format. The ROI calculator tab provides data on your return on investment by book, by ad spend, and by series. As with sell-through and read-through, ScribeCount displays key metrics, the data in bar graph format, a customizable and exportable table format with performance color-coded against industry standards, pie chart depictions of ROI by book, net profits by book, and units by book, and a bar chart of units by format. The KENP Trend tab provides information on KDP payout per page over time and on the size of the KDP Select Global Fund from which KU authors are paid. And that's the ScribeCount Analytics page.